Hi everyone, welcome to Off the Podium. I have Mark Rowan Hull from uh, London or Engl- somewhere in England. Hi Mark, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Thank you, Sargon. Nice to meet you. I don't get a chance to talk to people like you who do the kind of work that you do. So why don't you tell us about exactly what you do and you know share share some of what you've done recently? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I basically, um, I, I do work in a, a quite an unusual way, in a, in a sense, I, I paint, often I paint live um, with musicians. Mm-hmm. Um, over the years, I've, I've sort of built this into a kind of, a two, a, a sort of, <laughs> sometimes more than two-way process between musicians and uh, myself mm-hmm. and, and dancers um sound artists yeah um i i got i like working collaboratively uh-huh. um because for me it opens a landscape up um yeah. in a way that sort of working on your own and just responding to music uh-huh. on your own it, it doesn't you know it's, it's quite a um so so i i enjoy um working collaboratively yeah where did um, this where did this idea come from um it's all i'm just trying to think really i, I many many years ago um in the i'm just trying to think of when it was it would have been about 2000 um around that time uh-huh. i was commissioned to paint two huge great big campuses for a performance of messian's um mester lepentico uh-huh um, which was going to be performed. It was it was some anniversary of Messi. I can't mm-hmm. remember what it was. But anyway, I did these huge paintings. Um, worked for quite a few weeks on them, and um, I used paint that kind of that that reflected color, mm-hmm. and the color changed during the performance. And wow. I think at the at the time I just was in the audience, and I was thinking, wow, that would be good to to do that live. Uh-huh. You know, I, I hadn't really sort of looked at much art history to do with it it was just um that sort of came later really but i i kind of um i just yeah i did it intuitively really and then i i i managed to persuade a um a musician to to do something with me at a, a, a festival in um, london mm-hmm. and then then it's kind of it's it's led on from there really to, to more and more performances over the years and just very recently, I've been working with singers. Um, I, I worked very recently with a, a, a great jazz singer called Cleveland Watkins, mm-hmm. um, and that was fantastic, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, my background is sort of with jazz, so I, okay. that's how I started off playing jazz, actually. Oh wow! Uh, and so that that's uh, you know, I <laughs> when when I play music myself which i do uh-huh. um I, I see color quite quite naturally wow know? so it's, it's very much part of one and the same thing for me I, I i don't see any difference really at all in painting and and, and making music wow um it's 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 a simple a very you know it's it's a <laughs> what's yeah. the word symbiot symbiotic yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And I yeah. was going to ask about your interest. You know, you said you have the jazz background. What's the interest in Ives and uh, Part and Messian? Uh, what what int- what got you interested in these composers? Yeah, well, with with me- I think initially I used to I loved the work of I, I loved Part and Ives um, from oh gosh since I can remember. Mm-hmm. But with with Messian. I heard it was very much by chance. I heard a, a, a wonderful broadcast of Messiaen's organ music, mm-hmm. and I just, I just responded. You know, it was just wow, this is amazing. The mm-hmm. colours and the, I could, I could really see it quite clearly, and yeah. it was, it was very beautiful to me. You know, the the, the chords and the colour. I could really make a connection with what vi- visually with the music. Yeah. Um, and I think you get that with some music much more than other music, um, or I do personally. Uh-huh. I get um, particularly some certain chords really resonate with colours for me, and um, and so with Messiaen, it was a real awakening. As you know, it was, a, and, it, and it's still, I still go back to his music really 
because it's you know for, for me it's most pow- it's it's so powerful mm-hmm. visually yeah. um and so that that really got me into it in a sense yeah that really got that that really opened up the, the whole idea of of of, of color yeah. direct color associations yeah um, and then I started looking into Messiaen's work and finding out that he himself was a, was a synesthete. That's right. And, and and often painted, you know, he he, he sort of paint he he thought very painterly and, mm-hmm. and, and you know worked alongside you know very much um, you know thought of painting and and a sort of visual stim you know he was very visually stimulated. Yeah. And so it made perfect sense really. And so I I kind of <laughs> I so I suppose. You know, I, I aligned myself to Messiaen yeah. for many years, and it, it sort of it, it almost became a bit ridiculous. I just kept up, you know, painting. I couldn't stop painting Messiaen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I've got to stop painting this guy. You know, it's ridiculous. I can do this all my life. You know, just <laughs> in a very <laughs> obscure, obscure niche. Kind of way. <laughs> I thought, I've got to do something else. But so, so yeah. I mean, Ives, of course. Um, you know, did Central Central Park in the Dark, which is so. I mean, that's such a visual piece. Yeah. You know, obviously, the title, but but you know, it's got all those things drifting in and out, and uh, yeah. you know, I love I love that from a very yeah. early point. Sorry, I'm I'm going on. Blending. Oh no, go for it. This is this is the re- this is perfect. This is perfect. I love hearing about all these different ideas, but I want to know what the audience is think about what you do on stage have you gotten any response from them and for the first time uh, the people who see you first time uh, what do they think about this whole experience yeah now that's that's an interesting question um, Tiger and because um, <laughs> in, in, I think in all cases I think they find it a very from what has been said to me uh-huh. they find it very um, intense wow it's a very intense experience because uh, i think painting historically is very is a very private it is yeah. uh, thing um, and and so opening up in the way that i do mm-hmm. is quite full on really for a lot of people now some musical audiences find that really difficult mm-hmm. they find it really an affront and I've, I've even had sort of you know very um, people coming up to me saying you know you can't do you know you shouldn't do that oh, yeah it, it takes away angry, from the music huh? invoking an anger yeah <laughs> but but more I suppose more recently I've, I've worked in more of a, a an art environment whereby it's been more open you know it's, it's much more open to, to you know it's, it's, it's it kept the performance is the whole thing you know uh-huh. so I think initially it was a, a, you know for, for a lot of audiences it was a real shock but uh-huh. I think as um, I think it still is and I quite like the fact that it is a bit shocking yeah you know I, I don't mind that you know and uh, and I and I like to sort of um, work on that because I, I often work with quartets so with, you know very you know, very precise um, music, and often in in very hallowed kind of environments. So mm-hmm. I've worked in pulpits, and you know, sort of real, you know, very, um, you know, not normally associated with abstraction and yeah. you know, <laughs> splashing paint around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, you know, and 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 that itself makes things tense. Yeah, you know, and I'm aware of that. Um, but um, no, yeah, I, I I enjoy that kind of the, the I I quite I, I like that yeah. tension. It is it, it's a it's a tension. Yeah, you know, it, I I, I, don't, I don't mind that um, frankly. I, I quite like that in music as well, actually. I, yeah, I, I like music that sort of you know grips you and uh, and is diffi- sometimes very difficult um, for. You know, and so, so yeah. I'm sorry, I hope that I've answered. Your... Oh, this is great. Uh, oh, who does the kind of work that you do? Um, I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't think. I don't think anyone particularly works in the, the in the way that I do. I think, you know, I think associations are made 
um, between music and, uh, you know, I, 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 there's a lot of similarities between what I do and say what, you know, you could you could draw analogies between my work and say Jackson Pollock or, yeah. you know, or, or, or um, you know, and the, and the relationship between Pollock. I mean, I am interested in that whole history of, you know, Pollock and, and Morton, you know, Morton Feldman, yeah, yeah, those yeah. kind of musicians. And, um, and, you know, beyond that, you know, there's a the French artist called Georges Matau, Matau and um, this, you know, there's other artists who've worked in performance with paint. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think in a, in a really um, specific way where it's really, you know, get, getting to the nitty gritty of, of notation and, you know, there's a few. There's like, I mean, you, you've actually interviewed Mark Yates. I think he's doing similar things. Yes, he's yes. composing music and looking at notation and the way that works within, yeah. you know, and, and that's really fascinating. Yeah. But it's a slightly different area to where I'm at. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. suppose it's a, well, it's a different... You know, it's a it's a, it's a different approach. It, you know, it's different but similar. <laughs> it's interesting because when I was maybe nineteen or twenty, I had one of my recitals at in college for my music degree, and I had a friend who was a painter. I had him on stage with me to paint while I performed throughout the whole uh, performance. But this oh, was wow. but this was something. This was something that I just thought it would be interesting to do i had no idea people out there would ever do this or were doing this it was just my very young self just thinking about a new something something new to do and my friend who's who's a painter he was like okay yeah i'll do it i'll be on stage uh, somewhere on the side of the stage and i'll do this so it worked out great and he ended up um, giving the painting to one of the audience members who loved very was very excited about the whole process Um, wonderful how do you practice for what you do and you know you get to play with the quartet and they have a certain you know program how do you practice for that do you practice for that and on stage do you ever run out of time or wish you had more time to finish what you were doing um yes i think in you know um in performances that i've done in the past um with quartets i've had to be quite specific and careful about um, and I've listened to the music over again. I've thought about the way I mix colours, the way because things have to be done very quickly, mm-hmm. intuitively, and so you have to have a kind of a, a, a bit of a plan happening about how, how you're going to achieve mm-hmm. what you want to achieve. So in in that in that respect, I, I kind of I, I, I work in a very um, sort of a, quite a methodical way, uh-huh. but as free as I can. Yeah. Um, I never, I never have the feeling of oh, I wish I could have finished that. You know, I never have that sort of feeling. Uh-huh. Um, I, I always, I always feel that the it's so wrapped up in the music, it, it doesn't really matter in a sense. Yeah. And whatever, it, whatever it looks like, it it doesn't matter. And the, and the more I've gone on, the more I've thought that, the, the less concerned I am with the final product. Uh-huh. It was. At first, it was about the final product, and like your friend, you know, mm-hmm. it's like you know, you get the final painting, and you think, oh, I'd like to touch that up a bit, or that red looks a bit yeah. rubbish against yeah. that, you yeah. know, or you know, um, and I, I did used to in the early days, I, I think that, and, and 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 they were products, they were like canvases uh-huh. left at the end of the of, of a performance, but but as things have gone on, I've tried to make it open ended, much more open ended, mm-hmm. so I've kind of. I've worked in in very different spaces. I've used much different materials. I'm starting to use film and and, and different ways of 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 time elapsing and mm. you know getting really into the the whole concept of 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 time and music and yeah. capturing capturing time in music and 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 vice versa mm. with the music. You know with with, with it sort of. You, you know, and, and even the the musicians bouncing off what I do mm. visually, you know that, uh, that that's great. You know, and I, and funny enough, um, you know, it's, it's it's really interesting working with lots of different musicians because mm. you know some really get it and some don't. You know, and they don't want to. Get, you know, so it's it, it, it's whatever background you're from. You know, you can have the jazziest 
jazzer uh-huh. that, that it, you know they're tight as anything you know? yeah. <laughs> some of them yeah. are just, you know they've got their way of working and that's that's all they're going to do and they're not going to budge from that way of doing things yeah whereas what ideally what who i really enjoy working with is, is people who who are quite open-minded and and quite open to to changing things even you know mid structure you know yeah. t- you know have, working with me i suppose yeah um it has to be a and, and often my uh, more recently often my um my the relationships i've had with musicians have formed over quite a long time mm. actually you know so i'll do performances with them and, and it will it, it will evolve and evolve so yeah. I, I work over over years the collaborations can take years and years to form and yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and 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 bear fruit yeah. you know and and i don't mind that it's it's frustrating in a sense because you want to you've got this idea in your head and you want to do something but you know there's money obviously financial constraints yeah of course, <laughs> to, of course. to things there's but time is the the big thing you know you, 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 I work over a long time you mm-hmm. know, and, and I, I like that I think if you're working I think in the old days it, it was it was slightly unsuccessful my sort of you know trying to produce a painting to the music mm-hmm. you know just a simple that simple concept wasn't enough for me you know yeah. it was it, I, I, I've kind of moved away from that now a bit you know so I I like, you know, if, although I, I can still do that, you mm-hmm. know, and I can still work in that way and work with, you know, all sorts of musics. And I love working with music. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, I think the older I get and the more um, experienced I get, mm-hmm. the more I want to work with people who, what you know, really in, are interested in what I'm trying to do mm-hmm. you know, and achieve. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I think collaborations yeah. are very important for the 21st century between the different artists to kind of bring something new to the table and also excite the audiences and we're not so different after all you know with what we do the way we work so hopefully this will be an ongoing thing and people will learn from you and what you do and take it and make it their own and bring something new to the table and um down the road, maybe 20, 30 years from now, people will catch on finally. <laughs> that's right, Tiger. That's what I, yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah, well, <laughs> you must have some interesting stories about incidents that have happened on stage or right before you have a collaboration with a musician. Any Anything that comes to mind? Well, yeah, I mean, funny enough, you said, yeah, I, I was thinking the other day how th- there's a few things, actually. I mean, you know, there's... Um, I'm, I'm, I was thinking quite recently because I've got children uh-huh. that that um, I've worked with some really, really, really great musicians. Uh-huh. Um, you know, uh, amazing musicians. I mean, for instance, Gillian Weir, who's uh-huh. a very famous organist, uh, yeah. world renowned. You know, amazing. And um, all musicians, I, I always find that they're like they're almost like children when they start when they go on to play. They're, they sort of talk about funny little things. You know, like they're, they're like children, and I always I, I always find that really interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I, I, I am myself. You know, but, uh, but that's that that always interests me about working with musicians. Yeah. How you know they're very assured on stage. You know, but actually, that that moment before stage, before you go on, it's like it's, you know, am I, you know, maybe it's it's nerves and all yeah. of that. But you know, that that's a really interesting. Yeah. I love that. I love that, you know, the, the, that whole the, the, the personality behind yeah. what happens. Yeah. Um, and uh, the other thing I was thinking about actually was um, I worked with a musician called Peter Hill. He's mm-hmm. a Messiaen expert, and and that directly, he, he, funny enough, I was working with him, and the music was so it was so beautiful. Yeah. Like these, you know, he was playing fugues by Bach and and uh, Messiaen, and I was aware of my feet. Mm. You know, I was just aware of the sound of my feet yeah. and I thought I've got I've got to take my shit I've got to take it you know it, so now I do everything in barefoot oh wow it's, <laughs> so that's that's a direct yeah um, you know a direct um, you know musicians affecting what you do yeah um, in, a, in a sort of you know in an anecdotal way but, yeah um, uh, you know I, 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 
it's it's a lo- it is it's a lovely I love I, I mean I, I love working with musicians yeah. um, uh, you know it's it's a, it's a real privilege actually you know and I've done some really sort of amazing things you know I've worked with um, the late John Taverner f- um, on a on a performance of um, a, a, a premiere of his work mm-hmm. and um, in you know that that was amazing you know I, I, that 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 was very funny because I, at the end of it I I kind of was ushered to the back, you know, and it was a very important thing. It was like with them, um, and and I, I was ushered sort of through the back of the. It was Westminster Cathedral, and then um, and at, I, I walked, walked in walked into this room, and and, and to the to, I'll never forget it. it was it was it was and in that room was John Taverner, mm-hmm. a cleric, a bit of a, a Greek cleric, mm-hmm. and, and Prince Charles. Wow. And, and and it was like wow wow huh. <laughs> what am I doing here? You know? and this was after this performance I was covered in pain you know after doing this um, <laughs> it was just wow. a bizarre thing and and that's the you know it's quite a bizarre thing working with music yeah that's <laughs> you know these big productions and you know yeah, yeah. Right. and you've played with you've you've also collaborated with uh, various orchestras in London or out even outside of London right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I've but I've 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 done things that um, I've done lots of things actually with with different orchestras. Uh-huh. Worked. I'm um, worked very sort of organically with uh, the Verbier Music Festival. I did some things there with music by Anthony Plog. Okay. Uh, I've worked with um, an orchestra doing sort of workshops with children and um, all sorts of you know. The, interesting things there and they're really important mm-hmm. and I really enjoy those um, but yeah I mean it's uh, yeah there's, there's so so I could go on all you know there's, there's so many occasions where which have been so interesting yeah. you know, and so um, of working with different very different musicians from different cultural backgrounds yeah. I've worked with sort of Indian um, musicians who work in a very different way mm. and uh, to the Western tradition, of course. you know, and, and um, quartets, uh, quartets are really interesting as well. I've worked with quartets who have been very sort of open to what I've been doing, mm-hmm. and others, like I sort of mentioned before, who've been very resistant. Yeah. And even though playing the most sort of very adventurous um, music, um, being very resistant to me being there and yeah. be interfering with yeah. the sound and. Um, and the, the whole quartet experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's I, you see that that's something that I, I've really quite sort of enjoyed actually working with quartets because that there you have to listen so intently and yeah. try and do things very precisely, um, and and it's it's very difficult. It can either work or, or it can be very difficult. Actually. Yeah, there's <laughs> it's so tough because. Uh, musicians and I'm sure artists are the same way when you're in your space and you're doing something and you're used to doing it yourself and with no interruption from any other art form you want that space to be yourself and also as musicians when you're yeah. practicing for so many hours and you want to make sure you have a flawless and perfect performance you don't want yes. anything that will disrupt what you're no, doing I'm distracted. yes no I know and I've, I've, I've often I've had to work a long time just trying to persuade musicians that I really like yeah. to, to work with me, you know, on uh, for, for that. And I, I totally understand that. Yeah. I, I totally understand that. But at the same um, time, I think, I think in this new era, we have to worry less about just making perfect performances technically and, and making it more of an exciting and a collaborative environment. So uh, hopefully yeah. that will, that will change. I, I wanted to know about your relationship with Oxford, University of Oxford, right? And, also, can it, can what you do? Can you teach what you do? Wow. Um, yeah. Well, my uh, my my association with Oxford is is um, about. I'm trying to think. Was seven, about seven years ago. I got. I, I was made a creative arts fellow at um, a college, uh-huh. um, and I sort of remain a lifelong member of the university. Wow. Um, and I do. I do. I do things with the, You know with various i've just recently done a i did a um a, a, what would you call it a, sa- a salon evening with um 
uh, uh, a um, the visual music, the center mm-hmm. of visual music in LA. Um, they come over now and then. Uh-huh. To, um, and that's 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 another fascinating sort of area that I'm very interested in. Uh-huh. Um, but I did, I recently done some talks with them at, at Oxford and hoping to do some more there. Uh-huh. Um, and and I, I I've done some workshops as well. I, I think in in terms of teaching, um, I. You know, I've done sort of, I, I've, I've lectured and I've, I've done workshops. I, mm-hmm. it's, it's not, I suppose it's just <laughs> it's, um, teaching people how to how to appreciate letting go, actually. I yeah. think that's important, yeah. you know, uh, um, in what I do. I think because it's such a sort of transformative and, and quite difficult way of working, mm-hmm. um, I think people really appreciate that. So I've worked... You know, with poets and writers and uh, different people who've even scientists and different people on on opening a dialogue between the the different you know di- different disciplines. Yeah, I think we I think we all uh, and in a wider context, I think as humans we 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 tend to kind of narrow down mm-hmm. all the time. We tend to you know we get into our thing and we do our thing and. And, and sometimes, and I think it's very important to think sort of in a horizontal yeah. way, yeah. And, and think outwards, and, um, and and think in a new, different, in a different way. And, yeah. and I think that's where what I do is is, is useful, has has applications, I suppose, yeah. in in, the, in terms of thinking differently, a bit differently, yeah. um, about about the way we listen and the way we experience. Yeah. What inspires you? What inspires someone to be who you are and do the kind of work that you do? Um, oh wow! Um, oh, there's so many things that inspire me. I mean, I, I, <laughs> it's a difficult one. I mean, I'm very inspired. Obviously, I'm very inspired by um, music. I mean, it's always been very much part of my life. And, uh-huh. You know, I've. Um, you know, music is the big thing for me. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's just uh, it's always with me. It keeps me going. It's it's what helps me. Art, art likewise. Um, you know, they're both the similar same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, they're part of my whole life. I mean, I couldn't exist without. You know, I couldn't think of life without it. Yeah. And um, so, um, in terms of specific sort of things, children inspire me a lot. You know, my mm-hmm. um, even my own children. I think my work's changed a lot. Seeing them grow up yeah. and, and, and and seeing that their perception of the world and um, you know and, and and I think I've learned as much, if not more, from them as they have from me. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I think you know that they're my great inspiration, and you know, obviously my family. You know, you know, you could go on, but um, you know, it's the Nature also inspires me. You know, yeah. Nature, the, um, I live in a beautiful sort of area right near to, quite very near to, nearby Oxford, mm-hmm. um, and um, it's got woods. And you know, they, I walk into the woods, and you know, you hear the birds, and the, you know, it's just wonderful. And yeah, that, that that peace. I mean, the sea as well. I, I very insp- the sea always inspires me. Yeah, I, I, I was born by the sea and. That sort of continues to sort of feed into it all. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, and um, and traveling actually at the moment. I've done a lot of traveling lately. Uh-huh. And um, you know, love. There's uh, f- funny enough in America. You know, recently I've been to Arizona and Utah, okay. fo- following the, the, the steps of Messiaen's. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. They they canyon. I mean, I feel terribly connected with that. I mean, I love those areas my goodness you know the canyons yeah wow well, i heard uh, jenny wants to go there it's if you're incredible. if you're if, ever if you've got that sort of that deep connection with the earth and the yeah. sky you know, which, you, which you don't get I, I don't know anywhere like that yeah well if, yeah. if you're ever back in uh, the states you you let me know i would love to do one of oh, these in person 
I will. I will. I'd love to. You know, I, I love the sound of Seattle. I've never been. I'd yeah. Well, Seattle is a beautiful place. I'm sure it'll remind you a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, the area you live in, Oxford, and just in general, the UK with the weather and the nature and all of this. What do you do? It's actually, I want to just, but because uh, I was just going to ask you actually, because I think Bill Frizzell, the great guitarist. That's right. Uh, he, Seattle, isn't he? He is from I Seattle. I mean, he is from wonderful. Seattle. Yeah. He's yeah. so one. One of the first performances I ever went to as a teenager was with him and Paul Motion. Wow. And it was fantastic. And, and that really, I remember sitting and watching that. And it was he was playing sort of big chords at that time. Uh-huh. And, um, so it's the, the Seattle connection. Really yeah. Coming from, yeah. 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 The, 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 um, yeah. Those court. They, they really inspired me. Actually, it was, yeah. it was uh, I really saw color with those. And yeah. That's even before I started thinking about all of this. You know, I, I always think of that as a real game changer. Actually, that. Yeah. Well, yeah. since you said Bill Frizzell, I gotta, I gotta get him on now. I have to find. Yeah. I have to see if he's in town and get him on and see if he has time to chat with me. He's a busy guy. Um, yeah, I'm sure he is. He's quite amazing, isn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, what do you and do? Actually, a- he did a he did a very interesting thing, funny enough, with with the paintings of Gerhard Richter. Really? I, I, I did, and I tried to work with him once, um, but it never came off because of money. Basically, yeah, <laughs> I tried yeah, to yeah, yeah. get him to work in the Royal Academy of Music. I yeah. did something there. And, yeah. But, he's, but anyway, it's a, you know, it's a real. Dis- Appointment at the time, yeah. Um, but he was doing this thing with um, with with works by Gerhard Richter, uh-huh. and making music, making music from them. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a CD which is very good actually. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, what do you do outside of music? Is there anything that you do outside of music, and art and painting and all this stuff that you do as sort of work? Is there anything oh. that you do pastime activities, for example? Oh man! Well, I, 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 I do so much, um, Tiger, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, um, I, <laughs> it's hard to explain. I'm bit, at the moment. I'm building a house. Oh wow! So yeah, so that I, I'm sort of involved in with architects a lot of the moment. Wow! Um, <laughs> and, and doing and doing very sort of businessy type stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and so um, that's very much part of my life as well. Yeah. Um, you know, it all helps, you know, it, it, it all feeds in, I think. Yeah, <laughs> in, yeah. In an organi- organizational way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, and, and living, you know, I, I, I mean, I, 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 there's so, yeah, there's so much. I mean, I look after my children, as you, you know, with, with children, they're yeah. pretty full, full time. My eldest is, is just a, has started at university. Oh, wow. My young, my youngest is four. So wow. it's a big age gap. So there's a yeah, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> and so they're my. I mean, but it's I, I I consider everything as one in a sense. You yeah. Know? I, I I I meditate. I meditate as well. I, mm-hmm. I, I I'm interested in meditation. I'm very interested in um, Catholicism as well. So mm-hmm. you know those two things. I suppose they're pastimes, but that's past, but, you know, like, 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 you know um uh, so great to hear that. Lot. Yeah. <laughs> and you have children and, you know, the youth are so important for, for you know, for the future of arts in general. People who practice and, and study music and study art, various types of arts, or even if they don't study arts. What advice would you give to the future generation of young rock stars, as I call them? But what advice would you give to young people? Oh, wow. My, I, I suppose um, my advice would be the same as I for my children is to to just enjoy life and and, and go where it takes you. I mean, I am not a I, I don't encourage them to do art. I, I don't think I, I, I it's just the way. If 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 someone starts at art, I'd say wow, it's very difficult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd point out the fact that it is very difficult. Yeah. I think when you're young. You, you go into it with, you know, a, a great sense of optimism, and that's lovely. You know, I love that. Yeah. I love that optimism. But it is, it's terribly difficult once you have family and the, all the other pulls of your life. And I think I, I in my 30s, I, I, I had a very hard time with that. I, yeah. I got very depressed and very, you know, overwhelmed yeah. by the just the, 
the, the difficultness of it all, you yeah. know, tying things up. Yeah. Um, but now I'm now I'm a bit, <laughs> a bit older. Yeah. Um, I I just think well, sod that, you know, just get on with it and 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 um, enjoy it, you know, because yeah. it is enjoyable. Life is wonderful, you know. Yeah. And yeah. It's a wonderful thing, wonderful gift, and you know, just um, and that's my that would be my advice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's great advice. Mark, anything that we've missed so far in our talk that you want to talk about? I don't think so. I mean, I just think, um, I suppose my my current work, which is on my mind, I mean, I, 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 I could talk a little bit about that. Oh, go ahead, you yes. Because I've, I've, I'm sort of working more with film. I've worked recently with um, sort of electronic, you know, very electronic music. Um, mm-hmm. And so... That's very interesting, an interesting area mm-hmm. that, that I'm sort of working with at the moment. Um, I'm, you know, I'm sort of uh, w- working with sort of film a lot as well. Mm-hmm. Like I sort of alluded to my salon evenings with yeah. the centre of visual music. I mean, that's something that really, because that's very integral to film and the whole process of making film. Yeah. Um, and... Um, Although the music's not, I mean, you know, not a massive part of that. Yeah. It's very interesting in terms of movement and notation and, yeah. um, you know, the, the way that we look at things, I think. Um, and f- funny enough, the other day there was a um, Google Doodle, mm-hmm. <laughs> Google Doodle by of Oscar Fissinger, which was fantastic. It was like a visual music Google Doodle. Mm-hmm. Um, which I played with a lot. But yeah, I'm I'm getting more sort of interested in in the whole durational, you know, working um, in performances which last for a lot longer are more sort of interactive where people can walk around. Yeah, I suppose my my further dream is to sort of do sort of an exhibition which. It's like a piece of it's is a piece of music, yeah. so that the, so that I kind of uh, am able to sort of work with you know with different musicians and yeah. create spaces. Yeah, yeah. That that are interactive and that you can walk around and I mean that, that's that's my that would be an ideal um, for the future. And so uh, there's a lot of things I'm sort of working on. I'm I'm sort of working on a lot of films of mm-hmm. um, more personal sort of experiences mm-hmm. of sound actually sound yeah, yeah. And, and sort of broadening out yeah. from music as well but always reference you know making reference to a musical you know um, starting point yeah and then branching out from that <laughs> so yeah well no, so it's all all happening <laughs> no this is this was this is great and I'm, I'm glad we we finally had a chance to connect and talk uh, I know you're busy I, 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 I very much I, find out more about your your work as well actually I, i'm gonna look because it sounds fascinating what you're doing as well you know i work uh, i work a lot with the youth orchestras and uh i yeah. i am inspired by you you youth uh and uh i i do it because i truly i truly believe in the future of uh music and arts in general it's it's with the youth so i i i want to inspire them and work with them and hope that they they will make a better future than where we are now with music and just everything in general <laughs> yeah no it's a wonderful thing and important you yeah know, and, and very important to work with in that way yeah no wonderful yeah well thank you so much mark Thank you very much, Tiger, and it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been great. And if you if you <laughs> yeah. ever want to come back on and talk about new projects down the road, maybe months from now or a year from now, I would love to talk to you again about all of this because I am fascinated by what you by what you do because it's truly unique. And oh, that's lovely, Tiger, and thank you very so, much. I'd love to. Yeah, no, I will do that. And, I will do that. And I'll hopefully, make... hopefully, someday we'll actually meet. Yeah. That would be lovely. Ninety percent of the people I've talked to for my podcast, I have not met, so I have a lot yeah. of people to uh, meet. Well, let's, let's make it happen. Make <laughs> it happen. Let me know if you're over this way as well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much, and okay. have a beautiful day, and uh, we'll talk soon. We'll do. Love. Take care. Take lovely. care.